everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, this is my husband Matt. My name is Emily. We are here today to do a gear video. Uh, we've accumulated a handful of items that you see here over the last year. Um, we tend to do these videos about once a year. Yeah, so we'll just share some of the fun things that we've picked up. A lot of it's kind of techy, so Matt's probably gonna do most of the talking here, but hope you guys enjoy and maybe get some inspiration on some fun gear that you might want to pick up yourself. A lot of this was from Amazon, I think, but we'll try to link as much as we can in the description below if it's helpful. So without further ado, let's talk, talk gear. Gear! <laughs> gear! So first item here is our Renogy 100 watt solar panel. Uh, we went with Renogy just because our teardrop has all of their gear in the trailer. So we don't have any opinions on solar panels yet. This is our first one. But thought this would be great. It's uh, flexible. It also has grommets. So you can hang it, attach it, however, however you need. And we figured on the uh, galley door, if the sun's the right way, we could just bend this around the door to secure it that way. Yeah, very excited to try this out. Would love to be trying it out right now, but uh, someone forgot the cords. This guy. Next up is our Julka double ensuite tent. This is uh, essentially a shower or bathroom tent. It's super easy to set up and put away. Uh, we've tried it out once, worked awesome, even in the pouring rain. And with that, we also got their front awning and rain cover, which uh, goes over the top, has a little awning off the front, so uh, you can stay dry. And while we're talking about tents and canopies, we also got a Slumberjack canopy, which it's amazing, uh, just huge coverage. Uh, it has lots of ways to attach it to your rig, your trailer, you can attach it to a tree, and it uh, comes with two really secure poles and lots of uh, tie-offs. We have a bin that we keep most of our camping gear in, uh, comes with us every trip, and we just found that we had a lot of junk in there and you're rummaging around and it just got really messy really fast. So I picked up some packing cubes on Amazon. These are just, just Amazon basics, cheap packing cubes that you would use to put you know, in your suitcase when you're traveling. Um, but it just allows us to kind of group items together. So when I'm looking for our lights, when I put up our party lights, everything is in this bag. We wanna find some cards or some dice, need some American flags, they're in this bag. Uh, I'm not really sure what's in here. I think it's some towels or just ponchos or I don't know. But anyway, it's in this bag. <laughs> so um, recommend these just to keep a little bit more organized if you have the camping gear of clutter like we did. All right, so to go with our solar panel and our Renogy setup in the trailer, we got the BT1 Bluetooth module. There's also a two, but uh, this allows us to monitor how much uh, energy we're consuming, how much is coming in, the condition of the battery. And all you do is just plug it directly into the solar controller. Easy peasy. So in our uh, camping travels, we do go off grid quite a bit and can get pretty deep in the woods where there's no service at all. So we always have a Garmin InReach Mini with us and they actually have an InReach Mini 2 now. Uh, it's a little bit more, I don't know if they still manufacture the original Mini, but I have seen them on Amazon, just not through their website. Uh, but this thing is amazing. It uses satellite to text. You can also track, if you're on a hike, you can track uh, where you're going, where you've been. You can also set it up to send GPS coordinates at intervals as well to a family member, a friend, or somebody needs to know where you're at. But yeah, pretty amazing. All right. So one of the favorite things I found, this also on Amazon in the last year, were these little motion sensor lights that are magnetic. All you do is plug in 
the light to a USB power source, charges up within an hour or two, and it has two functions. You can just turn it on or you can turn it to motion. So we'd wanted a light in our front storage bin on the trailer for a long time. So we got one of these, mounted it up, and we can just take it on and off to charge it with the magnet. And you open the lid, it turns on, you shut it, it turns off. Really great, easy way to add light to a storage bin or interior of a camper. I also use this in the trunk of my Jeep, which does not have a light. <laughs> Bugs. I just got bit while I was doing that. Yep. As far as towing, we found this Kurt adjustable receiver for our hitch. This thing has been amazing. If you have a few different trailers you haul, you can easily adjust this, move the hitch height up and down, and you can get it perfectly dialed in so you have a perfectly level trailer while you're towing. Beauty of this is uh, someone who needs, needs to tow with a like a Subaru, which has really low ground clearance. You can flip it around, turn this around, and bring the trailer up. Yeah, love this thing. Love our Max Coupler. First warm week in Washington this year, and the bugs are out of control. All right, so moving on to the fire and fuel. We found these little uh, natural fire starter cubes. They're really great in a pinch. You just pull one out. Just pull one of these guys out, light a corner, and this thing, just this one will burn for minutes. So you have plenty of time to get your fire going, get your fuel on the fire. Zip, since 1936. 100% natural wax and wood. Okay, finally, uh, we carry around 20 pound propane tanks. We just like having the extra fuel. We do have a gas fire pit that's in our last gear review video. That is amazing. It's kind of necessary anymore because of all the fire bands, but we're also gonna be using this for our new trailer. We have a Propex propane heater and this accessory is the bag. Uh, these tanks are always just a pain in the butt to carry around. And I wanted something that would uh, keep everything contained when we have it next to or on the trailer for the heater. Uh, but there's lots of access points for the tank itself. You have the top lid here. There's also a side door so if this is zipped up you can access the nozzle and the on off there's also a storage pouch on the front of this bag which we keep our amazing little propane hose that has a meter showing how much gas is still in your tank don't of course rely on these they usually aren't too accurate but uh, this hose is amazing because we can use it on our camp stove. It goes from the propane tank to a smaller valve that you would see on the little one pound propane tanks. So yeah, this thing's awesome. We don't have to continuously buy and throw away those one pound canisters. Well, that's all for this gear review. Thank you guys for watching and we will make sure to have as much as we can linked down below in the description. If you have any great ideas, great things you bought over the last year. We'd love to hear them. Please leave a comment, like, subscribe. We'll see you next time. Find things, we just had so much stuff in there. So, your thing fell over. <laughs> I know, I'm, I'm getting so itchy now. <laughs> All right. <laughs>